lesson today, Sunday, December 27th, 2015. From NBC News, this is Today, live from Studio 1A in Rockefeller Plaza. Good morning. Welcome to Today on this Sunday morning. I'm Chanel Jones. And I'm Harry Smith. We are joined this morning by Christine Walker and Raphael Miranda from our New York station, WNBC. Erica and Dylan have the morning off. Well, thank you for waking up with us this morning. Let's get right to our top story, the monster holiday storm that triggered deadly tornadoes in Dallas overnight. The massive storm system is stretching from Texas to Illinois with 59 million people in its path. Here's what we know so far. At least eight people were killed overnight in Texas, with as many as 11 tornadoes reported, bringing the death toll to 26 across five states since Wednesday. Overnight, storm chasers captured dramatic video of the tornadoes that ripped cars right off the highway. We have team coverage this morning. Let's start with NBC's Charles Hadlock in Texas. Charles, good morning. Good morning, Chanel. Parts of Texas are waking up to a cold, wet mess this morning. As many as 11 tornadoes struck the state overnight, killing at least eight people. Oh, there's stuff right in the air. Gets a path of destruction near Dallas as deadly tornadoes touched down, terrorizing residents for hours. Five people were killed in Garland, Texas, when the fierce winds swept their cars right off I-30. It appears at this point that they probably came from the roadway, from the highway. It's around 17 feet. Eyewitnesses came upon a scene of devastation. It was terrifying. You know, it was, it was heartbreaking, you know, especially being the day after Christmas. As the monster storm bore down on nearby Rowlett, bystanders recorded the terrifying sounds of warning sirens and enormous bangs. I've seen tornadoes before, but I I've never never seen damage like this. Homes and lives ripped apart in seconds. I cannot believe that this amount of damage was done is probably 30 seconds, but it felt like a lifetime. It did. It, it a, I'm sorry. Building materials flew through the air, piercing walls. Suzanne Sorensen came out to find a stranger's treasured memories stuck to her mailbox and inside her truck. I pulled it out and I was like, oh my gosh, it's someone's wedding picture. South of Dallas, more destruction in Waxahachie. At least 40 homes were damaged in the surrounding area, but no serious injuries reported. I'm thankful to God all of my neighbors are alive. The power of the storm was visible from above as planes passed over Dallas. Below, a full ground stop was ordered at the Dallas-Fort Worth Airport during one of the busiest travel times of the year. Rescuers were slowed by flooded roads and power outages. Nearly 25,000 people lost power. The city of Dallas was spared the worst of the twister's destruction. New tornado warning in effect for Ellis County. Warnings may have saved many more lives, but for those who came through the storm, a long road to recovery lies ahead. I have no doubt that everyone will pull together. It's going to take a lot of time and a lot of effort. Texas is seeing it all this weekend, a blizzard in the panhandle, tornadoes here and now with torrential rains, the threat of flash flooding, and snow could be mixed mm. with the rain later tonight. Chanel? Devastating. Charles Hadlock, thank you. That same uh, storm system that spun off all those tornadoes is also responsible today for what's being called an historic blizzard that could paralyze holiday travel. Overnight in New Mexico, snow was blamed for more than 100 accidents. Conditions are so bad, police are asking churches to consider opening later this morning so roads can be cleared. The Weather Channel's Mike Seidel is in Amarillo, Texas with the latest. Mike, good morning. Good morning, Harry. From the middle of Interstate 40, it is shut down due to this blizzard all the way from here on the west side of Amarillo to Albuquerque. In Albuquerque, yesterday and last night, they had over 200 accidents. We've been dealing with this ferocious wind all night long. It's gusted 60 to 65 miles an hour in the panhandle, and it's going to blow like this all day today, tonight, into Monday morning. We're looking at one to two feet of snow. Notice some of the highway you can see, but you get over here because it's a very dry, powdery snow, and you get into drifts that are almost about a foot and a half deep. We've already had 23 inches of snow in parts of uh, New Mexico, but this is the issue. It just blows. It's like powdered sugar because the temperature is 20 degrees. Our wind chills are down around zero. It's going to be a long day and night out here. Travel is not recommended. In fact, the hotel we're staying at before yesterday, they were 30% full based on reservations. Now they're completely full. 
Everybody has pulled off the interstate and they're hunkered down, likely until sometime on Monday. It's going to be a wild day out here in Amarillo. This could be one of their biggest storms on record, uh, even competing with a blizzard of three years ago where they had just over uh, 20 inches. Terry, back to you. And we'll do our best to get you a light. Mike Seidel, <laughs> thank you very well, much. Well, as Mike just mentioned, you have so many people traveling. In fact, tens of millions of people are in the path of this storm on this busy travel day. So let's turn to Rafael Miranda for forecast. This is a tough one. This is a tough one. And the bad news is the storm is still getting stronger today, believe it or not affecting millions of people around the region. Warnings extending all the way from the Canadian border to Mexico. You can see all of these warnings, blizzard warnings, winter storm warnings, ice storm warnings. We've got it all with this storm turning into a blockbuster on this Sunday. Very busy travel day. Here's our area of low pressure gaining strength. Look at all the threats associated with our storm. Blizzard off to the west, ice storm into Oklahoma, flooding for the plains and into the Midwest. And of course, that tornado threat continues today on this Sunday. Now, the threat has shifted east of it, so today it's Houston to New Orleans. That's where the threat for severe thunderstorm lies. More tornadoes are possible later on this afternoon into the evening. Hail and damaging winds expected as well. And look how much rain is coming away. Already waterlogged here. Some areas could see, again, up to half a foot of rain as we're heading out there on this Sunday. So we've got it all with this storm. And it's just coinciding with one of the busiest travel times, unfortunately. And it'll affect us tomorrow as we have back to work as well. A little patience. Raphael, thank you. People have to stay safe. Absolutely. Yeah. Out west fire.